Hello friends, welcome to this lecture on powder metallurgy. Um, powder metallurgy is a very unique uh, manufacturing process where we uh, try to uh, create or manufacture metal parts using met metallic powders. For example, if you uh, see this diagram, if you, if you can understand this diagram, you will understand 90% of the powder metallurgy. Here, let us suppose this is our finished product. This, this is made of aluminium so I want an, a product made of aluminium which lo looks like somewhat like this so in metal casting uh, what we do we, we take we take molten aluminium and we have to create a mold of this shape and we, then we pour our molten aluminium in that mold and then finally we get, get this casting but in powder metallurgy powder metallurgy is somewhat different from this here what we do to create this to get this shape first we have to get uh, aluminium powders these are powders aluminium metallic powders so uh, powder metallurgy is all about converting these metallic powders into a solid workpiece now uh, it, it may seem very interesting and it, it may seem very uh, simple that okay we'll take some uh, metallic powder and we'll convert it into our desired work workpiece but these things are not so simple if, even in between this to uh, in between these steps um, in between the converting metallic powder uh, to the final workpiece there are a number of steps involved which I will show you in the uh, in this video even before uh, to create these metallic uh, powders this is not an easy job we have to there are a number of uh, ways by which we can create these um, metallic powders Powder metallurgy uh, parts or the parts produced by powder metallurgy are used um, in automobile industries uh, for, to create uh, these uh, gears, then connecting rods, piston rings and so on. Then in uh, aerospace, um, in the area of aerospace, also the, uh, these, these parts are used. And then uh, one of the most unique uh, application area of uh, powder metallurgy is the porous, porous materials, creating porous materials. Uh, or uh, metallic foam for example aluminium uh, metal foams are used in heat exchangers and in also uh, in a number of engineering applications then the tool steels then uh, tungsten carbide these are very hard hard tools which are um, usually difficult to produce by other manufacturing processes so powder, powder metallurgy uh, is used in, um, in in creating also also in creating these uh, dies and punches hard dies and punches Okay, by now one question, uh, one very obvious question might have popped up in inside your mind is that all these applications which I have show, um, discussed just now, this, these components can be prepared by any other manufacturing techniques like casting, metal forming and so on. So why do we need one more extra manufacturing techniques like uh, technique like powder metallurgy? What is so special about this technique? So to understand why we need uh, powder metallurgy, why and when we should use powder metallurgy, here I have uh, shown five different uh, reasons, five valid reasons or logic why powder metallurgy is so useful. The first one is material saving. Material saving means suppose I am uh, starting my starting material, material is this metallic powder. So it has been seen experimentally that almost 97 to 98 percent uh, of the material is um, getting uh, utilized in creating the final product. That, that, that means material wastage is very less here. So unlike in machining in machining uh, uh, to get a desired shape uh, near net uh, finish we have to remove a lot of material so if you are uh, working with a very expensive uh, material and material saving is, is your concern then you should go with powder metallurgy because here we are wasting very negligible amount of material nearly about two to three three percent then the second one very important suitable for hard material hard material like tungsten now tungsten um, if, if you have to machine tungsten you need a uh, diamond cutting tool because what is the uh, fundamental logic logic of uh, machining the workpiece has to be softer than the cutting tool now if your workpiece is tungsten since it is very hard so do your tool has to be even harder so uh, every time you cannot afford uh, or every uh, small manufacturing companies cannot afford diamond cutting tool so to create something uh, to create a part using um, tungsten powder metallurgy is, can be useful the third one is metals with high melting temperature 
suppose uh, again if you take example of tungsten platinum uranium these metals uh, melt at very high temperature for example uh, tungsten melts melts at around uh, 3400 degrees centigrade so it is not feasible or or economical to melt uh, these metals lot of energy consumption will be there to melt uh, these metals in in furnaces so in order to uh, reduce your cost you can go again you can go with um, you can create metallic powders tungsten powders and then you can fabricate your part the fourth point is there are some uh, metals that react at high temperature again there are some metals uh, which d- during casting we have seen that there are some metals which uh, tend to react at temp- uh, elevated temperature or even during hot working of uh, metal forming Uh, whenever you uh, try to uh, work with uh, any metal or those specific metals at high temperature they tend to react react and some scale formation takes place so these are again again you have to re- remove these scales um, by secondary operation so in powder metallurgy since we are not taking the metals at a, at a very high temperature so this this um, reaction of reaction at a high temperature does not take place so this is also one one of the re- reason why we should go for powder metallurgy finally fifth one near net or net finishing net finishing or near net finishing means almost complete finishing net finishing means we don't need any secondary operation for example after casting we we have to go for machining grinding and all those things but in powder metallurgy we have seen that in most of the application in, in most of the times uh, it is uh, um, the parts or the products which are coming out of the powder metallurgy uh um, plants these are uh, almost com- complete parts so our uh, um, secondary um, manufacturing cost are reduced so the powder metallurgy starts with manufacturing of metal powders this is the first step here what we do suppose i want to create a finished product of aluminum so i have to create aluminum powders now creating uh, for creating metallic powders we have different as you can see here we uh, d- different types of methods here i have listed only four of four important uh, methods the first one is atomization atomization is nothing but forcing um, uh, molten metal here we have to melt this melt the metal and then we will force this molten metal through a, through an orifice then um, with the help of high pressure gas or water this this molten metal will be will will, will get converted into uh, metallic powders i'll show you briefly here here our molten metal uh, will keep our molten metal and this is an orifice with this orifice we, this molten metal is fo- uh, forced to come out here this is the collecting chamber and high pressure gas will be injected this is high pressure gas will be injected uh, from both the sides so when this gas will uh, um, heat this um, jet of molten uh, molten metal uh, this molten metal will get uh, de- deposited here in the form of powders this is atomization the second one is uh, mechanical pulverization mechanical pulverization is nothing but there are again different ways to do uh, to um, do uh, crush uh, metallic powders using mechanical methods one easiest way is to have two rollers like we have seen in rolling these rollers will be rotating in opposite direction and the uh, suppose i want to create aluminum powders this aluminum powders uh, aluminum uh, material will be uh, poured here like this and due to the crushing action we will we'll get uh, metallic powders here then again we have electrolytic depo- deposition Le- electrolytic deposition is nothing but uh, anybody who has studied studied chemistry knows about uh, electrolysis here uh, the anode will anode anode will be the uh, metal which we uh, which w- w- whose metallic uh, powders we want suppose i want to create metallic p- uh, powder of copper so copper will be uh, kept kept as anode and any uh, and some other metal will be kept as cathode and in an electrolyte el- electrolytic solution we will um, start our reaction so uh, from anode that is uh, uh, copper will, will get de- uh, deposited into our cathode and after that we can collect uh, this this metal powders from the cathode similarly in a chemical reduction what we do we try to reduce the oxides from the metals by using reducing agents like hydrogen or oxygen 
these reducing agents and um, separates the uh, metals from their oxides uh, this chemical re reduction also you, you might have studied in your uh, school chemistry okay so once we get our metallic powders the next part is uh, blending blending and mixing what is blending see, see these we will get uh, metallic powders of maybe spherical shape irregular shaped then uh, this um, conical shaped random shaped so all these metallic powders has to be blended blending means, means mixing without mixing this uh, uh, if we don't mix this um, metallic uh, metallic powders of different sizes then this uh, compacting and sintering steps we will get uh, will be affected to, to so blending means here we have usually we have a drum like thing drum like thing here from here all these uh, metallic powders will be injected and this drum will be rotated it will be rotated at a very high speed so due to this rotation all these uh, metallic powders will get uh, somewhat it will get mi mixed properly blending and mixing means uh, mixing of mixing and blending are almost same thing blending means mixing of um, metal powders of same metal for example if we are working with aluminium so mixing of aluminium powders is called blending but again if, if we want to mix aluminium and copper powder maybe we, we want to create an alloy so this is this, this will be called mixing so after mixing we will go for compacting compacting is nothing but we will have a die here we will have a die we will pour our uh, molten metal here and with the help of, of a punch this is a punch punch this is a die this punch will hit you will, will continuously hit this and after some time all these metal powders will get will get the, the, this shape suppose if I want uh, a metal part of this shape then this is our die cavity and due to this uh, continuous uh, imp impact action of this punch we will get uh, an, a near net um, object of this shape now compacting can be done um, in cold state or hot state like what we have seen in cold working or hot working similarly we, we can either do um, we can either in, increase the temperature and do do, do this compacting um, technique or we can go with cold um, cold compacting at room temperature finally this is the sintering sintering is nothing but uh, it is like a heat treatment when we um, sintering is suppose a material melts at around uh, uh, 500 degrees centigrade so we will raise the temperature up to 60 60 to 65 percent of the melting temperature of that material so due to this sintering effect the uh, particles bonds together the bonding between the particle takes place at a very good rate you can see from this from this um, diagrams in blending the particles are have been mixed but they are uh, the, the uh, space between these individual particles are very high then after compacting the particles have come at a very clo um, uh, closer proximity then after sintering due to this um, increased temperature these particles have bonded at a very um, appreciable rate so this was all about powder metallurgy in our subsequent videos we will elaborately discuss all this atomization uh, mechanical pulverization yeah then chemical reduction deposition and all these things in details sintering then physics physics of sintering so uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and uh, keep watching these videos to know more about uh, these manufacturing techniques thank you for watching guys